There's an invasive species that is killing many of our local ash trees, including dozens on Delaware Avenue. But this week, the roadway is looking a little brighter after crews removed the dead trees and then replaced them. Two on your side, meteorologist Jennifer Stanonis spoke with some of the people behind the initiative. New trees now line a large stretch of Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. 30% of the process was taking down the old trees, and there was some very large trees. Ed Dorr is with the Professional Landscape and Nursery Trades of Western New York, or PLANT, and is working with the Buffalo Green Fund and the City of Buffalo on this tree replacement project. It took two days to get all the trees down. It took two and a half days to get all the trees in the ground. Dozens and dozens of dead ash trees that lined Delaware Avenue were recently replaced with these new trees extending from Summer Street up to Gate Circle. The new thinking is never plant more than 10% of one tree. We put in out of 70 trees, I think we have no more than three of the same type tree. Everybody wants the city to look beautiful. Cindy Kincaid is the chair of the Buffalo Green Fund and says they made it a point to get this project going. We just thought it would make a great project. Delaware Avenue is so significant to the city. The ash trees died from infestation of emerald ash borer, which experts such as Sharon Bachman with the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Erie County say is something that's becoming devastating to our local ash trees. They didn't know just how bad it was and to actually see that in person, um, they understood that this is what's killing our trees, the little larvas going back and forth. Um, making the serpentine patterns. Bachman says the only chance in saving some of the ash trees still left is by quickly recognizing an infested tree and treating it. We are slated to lose almost all of our ash trees that aren't treated. I always encourage people, if you have a tree that you think is infested, consult somebody who is an arborist um, to get the best advice. Is that tree healthy enough to treat? In Buffalo, Jennifer's Denonis, Channel 2 News.